What is up everyone? My name is Whammo and I am back again after a long break. I know you're excited to see me. I'm excited to uh, be casting again. Going to be getting into it a little more for the winter time. That is an AI boomer right there. We haven't quite gotten our fourth in yet. I think we had to kick someone to get him in. Waiting for it, waiting for it. Oh, come on. The only problem with this is they have stepped out of the safe room, so that means Toaster is going to get a timer. Going to throw off this first attack a little bit. We are Charged Spitter Jockey, which makes it for an interesting, it could be good, could be bad kind of scenario. See how it plays out. Probably try and jock and set up for the charge here. Not going to be able to jock him underneath this thing now. Charger does go with the spit on the charge. Very nice. Able to get quite a few dings there. Quite a few dings. Domino going in there and wasting that spitter. Able to get a few more dings with that death puddle. That is going to slow Nick way down. Very, very good for the beginning of this map. It is important to slow down people. Um, if you come through that attack and you're all green, you can rush this next part very fast. Being a short map that this is. Let's see what our next attack is going to be. They're moving ahead at a medium pace because that guy is slow, clearing their horde out. Got to be careful of tanks right here. There are occasionally tanks in this area. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case right now, though. Uh, setting on no spitter right here, so we're going to have to rely on separation to do the damage. There we go. Well, I hadn't turned down my uh, voice received volume so you could hear my teammates as they laugh at me for failing that uh, that rocket boom right there. It's okay. Going to set up for the uh, drop over here if I could jump properly. Setting up for the separation. It is a good setup to have on this separation because you can get lucky occasionally and catch one guy behind without the others being aware. Not quite going to get the rocket boom. I was being watched by someone there. Almost got it though. Smoke does go off. Not quite going to separate though. Charger able to get quite a few scratches. He was punching the crap out of Nick. He's gonna give us quite a bit of damage there. Very important on these short maps to get your damage builds in. Uh, killing spitters on top of down people, you know, that kind of thing. Bringing up your damage points so that you can get that extra 25 at the end of the round. Very, very important. They're all green. There is nothing up but a smoker. Maybe can slow them down just enough for spawns to come in. Maybe, maybe, maybe not gonna get a spawn over here. Not quite going to have it in time. <laughs> We're both spawning and falling into that water. A good run by the other team. Uh, be it that we were down a person on the first attack, I would say we could have done a little bit better. But it was still it was decent. I mean, that wasn't terrible. We'll see how they play it. gonna have to be cautious on this first attack. I'm looking for waste over there in that water. You should always watch that water on the left right when you come in to see if anything dies. Um, when the models hit the water it looks like they spawn and die. So you can see what they waste and try and figure out a combo based on that. But it looks like they are going to stay with the charge of Boomer Spitter I think. Jockey. No it looks like they did have a smoker not a spitter. Or a smoker rather. A smoker as opposed to a boomer. Anyway, we do mop up, mop up that attack rather quickly, no problems. Oh, you can tell I'm rusty. I haven't casted in quite a while. Running through this area quickly now, no tank. Just need to kill the horde and get through it as fast as we can. It would probably be beneficial to bait an attack before you drop or just after you drop. We'll see if we can catch one right here. If we do get an attack right here, you can almost make it past the car without taking another one. Need to be looking up for that boomer to drop. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Expecting an attack right here when we come into this horde. There it is. Spitter Charger going down. Spit was way early and way ahead. Boomer did drop on us there, getting probably two of us. Very nice, but there's just nothing that's going to stop us from running now. Going to be able to make it probably all the way past the car, assuming we can cut through the horde. Cut through the horde. Shoot your horde. There we go. Boomer's still up somewhere, probably on the roof. Maybe going to drop on us. Try and set off the car alarm. Oh, there's the boomer. Hello, boomer. He does not have a puke, so you can just kind of shove him out of the way. There goes a spit for separation, and Toaster is stuck in the back with the horde and boom. Gonna take quite a bit of damage there. Might be an issue for this next 25 at the end. Need to get out there and help. Can't sit in the safe room for this kind of stuff. Doing everything I can. Able to clear that horde. Maybe a little slower than I should have. Let's see what we, who gets the damage points there. I don't remember. It was fairly even, but I say they might get it. Oh, well, there you go. We did get it by a little bit, but it makes for a good first round. 
it's often hard to tell a, uh, how good a team is by how they play the first round, but generally when it's close as it is right there, uh, about 70 damage points or so, you can say that it might be a good game. You know, sometimes it's a fluke, sometimes you catch a bad attack here or there. But that was a fairly solid first round by both sides, I think. Ooh, looking at early spawns there. Very, very, very early spawns. Smoker to the right and Charger also to the right or behind the van, perhaps. Gonna try and bait the Smoker as much as we can. Smokers are very, very easy to bait. Once that tongue goes, you can just break it and then run back out and kill him. Looking for the smoker kill. It's important nobody shoulders him. There's the smoker. Able to kill that. Charger coming in as well. Jumping over that. Taking a boom. But not going to be an issue. There is quite a bit of horde that does come out of this area. However, I don't think they have anything up to deal with it. To deal any damage. Nothing at all. Free to check for supplies. Occasionally you do get pills, pipe bombs, molotovs, whatever in that Humvee over there. Uh, looks like we did get a pipe bomb and an adrenaline shot out of that. Very nice. Going left side. Which side you run here is pretty much preference. I mean, there's there's really no rhyme or reason to it unless you go second. When you're going first, oh hell, it doesn't even matter. Hoping for a tier 2 up here. Or even perhaps some melee weapons would be nice as well. There's a bile right there on the ground. Attack coming in here. Smoker Hunter. First for distraction, perhaps for something. Charger a little bit late to that. Very hard area to charge in without a boomer. Not going to get anything. He is ahead of us, so he's going to have to run all the way around to despawn that thing. There goes the boom. Clever boom spot. Good spawn. Charger might be running back in now. Need to be cautious of that. There was no tier 2 up here. It was just uh, Uzis. Surprise the Charger hasn't come in underneath that boom. There's the Charger. Way late to the party. He was a little bit weak, so he gets cleared rather quickly. There is a tank right there. Gonna have to push back. Probably should, there you go to the other side. It is a risk if you don't run into tier two on one side to go back to the other side and look for the tier two. Uh, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. It really depends what you just killed, and if, seeing as we did just kill a boomer charger, we should be okay by running back to this side. Gonna use this pipe bomb to thin the horde. Just in case that tank decides to run in, which it doesn't look like he's going to do. I'm gonna wait for his infected to be up before he attacks. Very good idea. We are in a good spot. Everybody knows this spot. It's easy to defend, and it's uh, it's kind of a eh, it's kind of a bitch spot, but it's not too much. Charger coming in while we're all looking at that smoker. Maybe a little bit late. When we're also coming from bathroom, able to hit two of us. That's gonna cause an issue for us. We'll see if the tank capitalizes on that or not. Lots of horde on the map, and we are all on snipers. There's the tank. Gonna go for the boom, guys. Very smart. Gonna get a double hit there. Oh, Molotov does go down. Very smart Molly there. Gonna kill this tank rather rapidly. Snipers do do quite a bit of damage to a tank. So if you can just keep all the fire on the tank, you can do all the damage you need to. Able to juke him a couple of shot, a couple of times there. Able to come through that with only one down. With a double boom there, I would say that is very nice. Good self save there on that smoker. Very quick tank melt, uh, thanks to the fire and the ability of people on this team to shoot, I guess. We were all putting a lot of sniper fire on that tank. And like I said, these snipers do do quite a bit of damage to tanks. Need to be cautious here of this next area. They may have an attack in if we take our time. Oh, look at there, it's pills. Huh. So we just need to be aware of what's up for this little hallway up here. It's a very common charger spitter spot. People like to attack on the opposite door. How long it's taken us to get here, they probably will have something up. Uh, will it be a charger? I don't know. Hard to say, may have to bait for the spawn, just to see what we're dealing with. There goes the jockey, able to pipe and thin out the horde. Definitely a jockey out there. Need to be cautious, blocking spawns as best we can. There is a charger and hunter up. There is the jockey. Able to kill the hunter. Here comes the charger, no, maybe? There's the charger. Again, a little late. They are late with their charges. Able to clear this boomer. Very nice. I don't know how I heard that thing, because I didn't hear it just now. <laughs> but uh, able to clear the boomer. Uh, it was a very late boomer. But uh, it would have slowed us down quite a bit.
I'm reloading. Adrenaline shot. Gonna take a natural horde right here. Unusual. But uh, I guess it does happen. I'm gonna patch myself up. Gonna wait to kill off that natural before we proceed. Knowing that there's no tank during this event, it's gonna uh, be a lot uh, easier, I guess, to rush it. You're not really gonna have to worry about coming into a tank and regrouping everyone. So as soon as we wipe this first attack, we're gonna be able to run all the way to the button and then hold up at the doorway. Door opening, you really don't have to press on that door. It doesn't activate the alarm until one person runs through it, so technically you could wait for the door to open all the way before you even went. Hunter coming in, just barely missing his damage pounce and getting skeeted. Charger coming in at the last second, getting a very nice spit charge combo there. Gonna do a lot of damage to me. Do have pills though, able to stay fast. Gonna be able to run, hopefully all the way to the button. Quite a bit of horde. We do have a bile. Bile's very useful in this event. You can chuck them up off the side by the buses over there is my preferred spot. And it really chokes up a lot of the horde. Where's the boomer? Oh, I'm not going to be able to use that bile now. Not until that boomer is off. Need to be careful when running this event when you have boom people in the back. They will take all the horde. <laughs> you can, If you're not boomed and somebody else is in this area, you can pretty much run it free. Uh, spit going down on the smoke. Curious. Um, there is a jockey in the back, or rather in the front. I'm gonna stop the first person from climbing up the ladder. Not gonna be a huge issue. And easy as that, the, the alarm is off. Now we just have to deal with this massive amount of horde that comes in here from all different directions. Always gotta be cautious with who's up there. Alright, uh, you gotta watch him. Go to go ahead and heal while that pipe is out. Very nice. Charger up probably inside. Um, I don't know why he spawned. Looks like he was going for something crazy there. Uh, everybody's still really high health. I uh, need to clear that horde off of him. Or, or off of her rather before she gets in there. The smoker going as well. Last ditch effort to attack right there. Not very effective at all. Um, their timing was a bit off. Able to burn all the horde in the back. Looking for another Molotov. Not going to find it though. Need to get toast to heal, there we go. And we should be clear to run it up until the second set of buses anyway. That's when they were probably having another attack. Looks like there is still a spitter up above us. There's the separation spit. Probably not going to be a huge issue. You can slow down people quite a bit with the separation spit here, but not enough to make any kind of difference. There's going to be something up here. There is a boomer. And a jockey. And a massive horde spawn right there. <laughs> it's a good thing about melee weapons, though. Their arc cuts through just about anything. All the way in the safe room. Um, I'm surprised that spitter didn't go and die when uh, when he spit that separation. I guess it would have been my preference to kill that and take a little bit more damage on our team. But it's all preference. It's however you want to play, right? 449 would be their infected damage. Saturn likes to do that occasionally when he thinks it might be close. A good loadout for this first attack. I prefer boomers here over a spitter because it is such a horde heavy area. Uh, spitters can do a lot of damage. They can if you stuff them at the doorway, but with how many people that that bait this initial area now, it's it's hard to do anymore. I'm probably going to look for the jockey or pull out and then stuff the rest of them back in the safe room. Depends how they come out though. If I recall, they do take quite a while baiting as much as they can. Not going to give up our spawns initially though. Gotta wait for the last second and get our spawns. Gonna be able to dual cap these guys, hopefully, not quite. I'm gonna be able to push Coach all the way back up here, though, and Smoker is gonna be able to defend me. And the Jockey, I should say, for a little bit. <coughs> Boomer is still up down there. Boomer is chasing. I'm surprised that Boomer's still alive. Still chasing with that Boomer. Jockey is still up as well. Jockey did tons of damage there. Got the guy all the way across the area. Boomer still chasing. Still chasing. Look at that fatty waddle. And the boomer pops in a prime spot. Very, very nice boomer death there. Couldn't get too much better than that. They're going to be stuck up in that corner for quite a bit with the guy down and boomed. There goes the pipe out. Forced to use a throwable right there, and I should have waited for the spawn. I was hoping to keep him down for a little bit longer. <laughs> it was a last minute kind of thing. Spawn timers are desynced now. A very bad scenario to be in. They are tri-cap, so there's no support until I get in in about 13 seconds here. 
probably going to be able to run all the way past this drop. Unless we can get a good polar jock back. Maybe going to happen right here. Coach getting stuck up on a single zombie jock. He should be able to cover that along with the charger if he can get a spawn. Very nice spawn right there. Going to be able to defend that, hopefully. Yes, yeah, just a little bit. Charger does get a number of punches. Very nice. Able to down Coach right there. Going to get this boomer spawn, hopefully. Three, four of them. Very nice quad boom. Crucial attack right there. Going to stop him up for a couple more attacks until the tank spawns. Going to limit how many medkits they have for the tank, which is a very good thing to do. Um, unfortunately, because of this map, there are medkits fucking everywhere. I mean, you've got four medkits halfway through the map. And they're going to use two right here, I imagine. At least that would be the smart thing to do. Two or three, even. Do not want to come into the tank with anybody slow. Rochelle seems to want to have that happen, though. Gotta run all the way up front to heal. Jockey gonna try and capitalize on it, but I don't think the separation is quite big enough. Wasting the spitter. In, uh, in the hopes of a boomer. Gonna go ahead and burn the smoker as well. Able to get a little bit of a separation. And the, oh, the hunter falls off, which means the, uh, can't pounce right away. It's alright. It was a, a good small separation there for a couple dings of damage. Hopefully that should leave us with a boomer tricap in the next attack. We'll see, though. There's the boomer. Checking like crazy, making sure they can get everything they can. Going to push up the tank spawn now. There's the boomer tricap. Tank should be spawning in right here. There it goes. Going to try and capitalize on the person in front. Not going to be able to do it, I imagine, because they are on snipers. Charger in the back, getting a few punches and a good forward charge there. Should be able to defend it. Smoker pulls the same guy that I try and jockey. And able to get on Rochelle, just keeping him up here for that much longer. Trying to dodge as many bullets as I can. Very nice smoke there, able to hold him for quite a while. The tank is rocking. And there goes a bile. Very bad decision to make right there. The tank did get lit by that second that second molly right there. But Rochelle is all by herself. Probably slow. Gonna take a number of hits there. Getting a shot, not quite gonna get it off. Oh yeah, she does get it. Tank is going for swings now. He is lit. You don't have much of a choice here. You can't wait for your spawns to come up and the tank is down. Boomer is able to go off on one of them with a good charge backwards. Gonna down one. Gonna build damage now. Try and get those damage points. Very nice. Like I said, there are four med kits as soon as they advance about another attack in. Which means they're going to be all green for the event, no matter how low they are right now. By making it through that, I guess the four medkits is their reward. Should be able to get to these before we can do anything about it. Going to be able to heal up. Not exactly a good spot to attack. And there go the heals. Probably going to wait for the hallway. Uh, bypassing the opportunity for a down right there. Probably a good call. Like I said, bad area to attack him back there. Good area up here. Assuming you can land the attack up here. Sometimes it is tricky to hit. See how they come into it? I expect a good bait from Coach. I'm going to lay down a little bit of fire on that jockey. Not going to hit anything, though. Have to be very careful here. Don't want to get picked by him. Ellis runs up at the last second and is able to pick me as I waddle my big butt up there. Charger able to get in for a few scratches and then back out. That's proper right there. You don't exactly have to commit to an attack right here. Very nice charge. It's too bad it stopped on that hunter pounce. Able to get quite a bit of damage in there, considering the scenario. Very nice. But again, there are still two more medkits and a few sets of pills up in front. Gonna try for a down right here. He is very low. 
Not quite gonna get it though. Smoker is not exactly a good DPS infected. Especially when you're uh, dragging them towards you with no horde. Hmm. Could have saved, but uh, chances are I'll have my spawn back in before they move into the next area, which is where we're going to attack anyway. Looking at a at a decent combo for this. Kind of spin in that trailer. It's kind of a a funny thing to do. Hmm. Might want to save that spitter for this charger, able to despawn it, I hope. Get back far enough. I'm not a fan of this first attack, this uh, little spot right here. It can work, but more often than not, I find it fails. Uh, I guess it depends how the survivors come into it. I don't know. I guess you don't really have a choice of where you can attack right here, but I really just don't like it. Boom, we're going to miss his early spawn. That's just fine. Not a big deal as the Charger is the one who does the damage here. Charger gonna miss his spawn as well. Uh, maybe gonna get a nice charge back. Yes, able to land it, but it does not go all the way back. Very unfortunate, because I think that spit landed back there. Yes, it did. That is the nature of this game, though. That's just how it works sometimes. Uh, you don't exactly go as far as you want to with the Charger. Your pounce doesn't land because of something stupid. You know how it is. They're gonna be able to push all the way to the button, even under the influence of that boom. They should be able to make it there with no troubles. May have something in to stop them up right at the climb. Looking at Tricat plus Spitter can be good for delays, but really it's hard to say. Gonna look for the spawn up here. Gonna try and defend this hunter as best I can. First the people run all the way around. A good idea, but not well implemented there as they are not even watching the spawns. This guy way by his lonesome over here gonna charge him all the way back. Gonna do a lot of damage right there. Able to get a spitter on him as well. Gonna down him back here in this corner with the da the death spit right there next to him as well. Damage building for that little bit more. With the pipe out, Nick should be able to get Ellis up there, no problem. No problem at all. They are no med kits. So they're going to be running with Nick slow here. Able to get a boom on the back too. Very nice. I believe that was a bile out back, was it not? Torso able to get a good separation pull on the guy who was boomed. Very nice. And down him. Perhaps I can get a damage pounce and down somebody here. I'm not going to do it because I am terrible with this hunter. I'm looking for the damage pounce that I'm looking for. There it was. Four damage. Woo! Good thing I jumped around that much and let the guy get up, huh? Oh well. They're all running. We should have an attack for the corner, I hope. Oh, a good spawning right there with the Charger Spitter. Gonna be able to lay down a little bit more damage. Hopefully down somebody right here. Looking for this. Timing is everything right here. It's all about timing. You need to stuff them as opposed to charging them back. There was a nice charge. Very nice. Able to hit three of them. Not gonna get my spawn to get Rochelle. There it is. Might be able to get her now. She's not even looking back. Very nice. Going to drag her around the bus. Everybody is boomed back there, and they have a guy down. No way they're going to clear me. Trying to get away. No, maybe. Able to get away. Maybe get a scratch on Nick. Not going to happen. Nick is a slap from going down. If anything even breathes on him, he's going to drop. Why am I going this direction? Well, there's what the corner of the map looks like, if you ever wondered. Pretty neat little, uh, oh, now we're into blackness. Oh, greenness. Oh, <laughs> and white. Did you know that? The universe fades from uh, black to green to white. Who knew? And that's the end of the round. Very nice. Able to kill one of them right there at that door, which you would have seen if it wasn't for that little bug. But, uh, oh well. Able to put us up by what? What is that? 50 points? Yeah, 50 points. Something like that. A decent lead, but not insurmountable. Especially in a game like this. With only a 50 or so point lead, this map becomes rather crucial. It is a very, very long map with a number of separations and spots where people can die rather easily. It's, it's important to, uh, well, not have that happen, of course. Should be able to make it through it, though. Judging by how they've been attacking on the last few maps. 
long as we don't get hit by anything crazy, any kind of separation death or anything like that. Looking for a boomer to come down on top of me. Not gonna happen. People are beginning to favor the corner attack over this initial doorway attack. Gonna come in right here, I imagine. Looking for something. There's the jockey chasing, jumping around like an idiot. He is a distraction for something else. I was hoping a boomer. There's the boomer getting a close spawn along with the spitter. A very effective attack. Well, effective had the boomer gone first anyway. Nothing to slow us down. Should be able to run, check the room, grab the molly if it is in there, and move past the bus drop, I hope. Saw a glimpse of this molly in here. Gonna go ahead and go in and grab it. Chainsaw is in here. You can uh, utilize a chainsaw in this map rather effectively for the last person drop. Toaster there getting cut, caught up front unawares with a charger spawn behind her. Unfortunate. You can utilize a chainsaw in this map if you're the last person to drop, you know, to cut smoker tongues or, you know, things like that. Boomer spawning way in the back. Uh, don't know why he did that. There are plenty of spawns up here where you could definitely have more of a chance of hitting somebody than there. But yeah, chainsaw. Take it if you want on this map. It's, uh, I prefer to have a melee weapon myself, but some people like the chainsaw. Yeah. All preference, there is a tank right there. Four sets or three or two or some number of sets of pills in that room. Jockey come out of the trailer and kind of catching me off guard. Gonna push back, I imagine, past the bus. There's no point in playing this risky as close of a game as it is. Charger is up, gonna try and push us back. Able to kill that before he lands, which means he's gonna do no damage. Hunter coming in again, they're just trying to slow us down, trying to stop us from running all the way back. It's just not going to work. Able to get a light there with that tank. Very nice light. Oh, missing my jump. Oh, that might be bad. Nope, tank's not going for us. He is getting the car. Which is a good idea. He is lit, though, so he has a very limited number of swings that he can use on that car. The problem with tanking with the car when you're lit is that if you put it out of play like that, you might as well just leave it. There's no sense in going for it anymore. Which it looks like that's what this tank is trying to do, is go for that car, but he's just going to melt just gets destroyed. Boomer a little bit late to that party. Had he been about 30 seconds sooner, he would have been very, very useful. Jockey does attack the guy in the back who is separated because of that boom for a little bit of damage there. A decent horde, but it all came from the back. Which means we're going to be able to run forward quickly now, making it all the way past our drop again because we did clear out all the standing zombies and it remembers that. So we can just keep running without worrying about any zombies or anything crazy. When we run into that tank, we need to be cautious of the gas cans, as I fear they might be more of a threat than the Molotov. But we shall see. Tier 2 sniper in this trailer. Not exactly a uh, preferred weapon on this map in this area. Need to be very careful of these stairs. Um, do not stand on the left of those stairs, guys. You will get stuck in between the gutter on that house and the stairs. Not a pretty scenario because it can ruin a game. That hunter needs to die. There he goes. Jump around like an idiot. Boomer is up. From where? Perhaps in front. Able to clear that boomer without getting boomed. Very nice. Charger coming in right after that smoke. Just barely missing. Able to thwart that attack very nicely. Still a number of pills up here. Clearing those off. But I'm going to hop right down here. No sense in waiting. There's nothing up. Going to be able to move to this area. I'm not a fan of checking this top room. Uh, there are occasionally goodies up there that can be useful. However, if you do not check the top room, I feel like you can avoid an entire attack. So, I mean, look at how quickly we would have been through here. We'd be all the way up in the next area right now. Instead, though, we are going to take a spit with the smoke in the back and all this horde catching up to us. Hopefully, we can bait an attack before the hole if they hit us right here under this natural horde. Now, that would be preferred. They're killing a boomer right there. Spitter is still chasing us, I believe. Hopefully, the infected team comes in right now. There goes the hunter. Spitter coming in as well, along with the jockey somewhere. Looking for the rest of them, but that was only a couple of the infected that we killed right there. Still need to be cautious on this drop, as they may yet have a smoker up. Everybody always looks at this roof. 
Um, be aware that there is a fence behind you that the smoker can pull through as well. You can get a spawn behind you, behind that little uh, fence there. There's a spot that you can't see through. Just something to be aware of. Dropping one. Looking for the spawn. Dropping two. Looking for the spawn. There it is. Right there. Should be able to drop both of us now without too much trouble. There we go. Very nice. Oh, good thing that shotgun was there. I was running very long. I'm a charger up front. Going to come all the way back. Spitter did get stuffed though, so that means that not going to do nearly as much damage as it could have. Whoever uh, killed that spitter or stopped that spit probably just saved our team because that would have been a wipe right there. Very nice attack. Uh, that charge can be deadly. And uh, there's almost nothing you can do about it aside from sending one person up first to try and kill him. We have two outside cars alarmed and no inside cars. Uh, bad scenario right there. We got quite a few alarm cars on the edges, which is where the infected are going to spawn. Smoker's setting up on top of one of those. Gonna get the pull and set off the car. Gonna set off a couple of the other cars too, as you only take one horde. Need to be careful of that spit there. Able to clear that boomer. I think he did get one of us though. Hunter is still bouncing around like an idiot. There he goes. It's almost beneficial to have one person boomed in this area if that one person is moving forward. If you leave that one person behind, it's going to be very bad very quickly. And that one person that was boom there is now very low on health. Needs to heal. It's difficult to heal from one health in this area. Able to get it done though. Domino as well needs to heal. And like I said, very difficult to heal from a low health right here. So much horde. Able to get it done though. Very good for us. I have a set of pills that I should be taking. There we go. Charger coming in now and we are stuck on these one zombie right here. Don't know where it's at. Behind me somehow jamming my foot or something I don't know I'm gonna stop me from clearing that smoker at any kind of good speed kinda hate that sometimes the zombies get stuck in odd positions that you can't see they don't move when they're stuck like that and it makes you stuck and it's just everything's stuck and you can't do anything the spitter gonna spit this platform here gonna stop the two from below running up which may end up getting them attacked down there who knows Doesn't look like it's going to happen on the bottom, it's going to happen up here. Curious? There's a grenade launcher in there. Grenade launchers are a seriously underestimated weapon. I expected to clear that boomer on the first shot, I started to reload. Three med kits. Three people that need healed. Good numbers. I should be healing, rather than taking pills. I don't know why I'm not healing. Hmm. Need to be healing, there we go. This drop can be tricky, uh, however it is a fairly open area underneath and it gives you plenty of opportunity to clear the people up here as there is only one spawn for anything to come from to uh, separate you. Doesn't look like anything tricky is going to happen this time. Opting instead to go for the charge spit combo after the drop. Could have been nice, didn't quite work out I think as well as they planned it to. Gonna be an AK in here. Gonna go for the uh, the rifle as opposed to the AK. I prefer its accuracy when it comes to clearing infected. This last little graveyard part is a tricky spot to track to uh, try and attack and is infected. Uh, you can get good separations assuming you can land a good boom. That is the key uh, part of this equation here is landing the good boom and then going for the separation. Which you just don't see happen very often due to the limited number of boomer spots in here. Charger gonna spawn up front along with the boomer on top, I imagine. Able to only hit one person with that boomer, very unfortunate, as that could have been key for the infected team right there to hit all of us and stop us from clearing that charge. Throwing the Molotov, there was a smoker in the back. I'm not gonna run back to that Molotov because I know there's two people back there. And we are primo now. Pretty much nothing gonna stop us. Using that Molotov for lulls. No reason to uh, not use it. Oh, maybe we should use it in there. You see all the zombies? Jeez. All the way in. A long map and well executed. Lots of drop points with the tank that we got through. Very, very nice run right there. We'll see how the, uh, the survivor team does it. Chances are, if we end up wiping them somewhere early in this map, they r may rage. Who knows? Only 390 damage done right there. 
a lot smaller of a number than I thought it would be. We are a dual support hunter jockey. Yeah. Kind of a poopy combination for this opening area, but it is a wide open area and you may get something lucky assuming you can get a good boom off first, but chances are you're going to need a distraction in order to do that. We'll see how they play this area though. Probably going to wait for the corner for an attack, but eh, it's preference. If you can get a boom off early, you might as well do it. I am partial to the doorway attack as opposed to waiting for the corner. Really, really depends how they run out of the safe room. If they run out of the safe room, that is. Sometime. There's a burning building in the background there. Huh. There they go, out of the safe room. Shade first, they're holding that left edge right there. A very smart idea to stop that boomer from dropping on him. Notice how they're just keeping one guy with his eyes pointed towards the edge of this the entire time. Gonna put the jockey in for a distraction, which means the boomer's gonna be able to go. Hitting two of them, not quite gonna be enough for a dual cap. Might be able to get something nice, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Not quite. Spit going down on the hoarded guy. A very good decision right there. Able to get five dings worth of damage. Very difficult to do on green survivors, that is for sure. The good thing is we'll have an attack up for this room, I hope. <laughs> if the tank does not uh, early spawn. This room can be a death trap. It can be, I say, because more often than not you'll see teams only sending two people in at a time, which is a very good idea, because the outside spawns here are critical to making this attack work. We'll see how they come into it though. We are on a decent combination to do some damage in here. A spitter might be preferable to this jockey, but we will see how we play it out. Might be able to get something. Nick is kind of almost blocking these spawns over here. Almost, there he goes, block him now. If we can get a good spawn. Might be able to make an attack happen. There comes the hunter in first, then the charger, then me gonna stop Nick at the doorway, hopefully. Not, oh, I do get punched off by the boomer. That's alright though, charger is able to get quite a few dings worth of damage there, and the boomer did get all three of them with a good death right there. I'm gonna slow him down for a few, well... Hopefully for another attack before the tank comes in, we'll see. Depends if we get a boomer or not again. Which, since the boomer did die last, I think we should. Maybe it's the other way around, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Spitter is the first spawn. Hmm, that must mean dual support, right? Damn it, no dual support. Tricap Charger Spitter. It's a decent combination, not when you're coming into a tank, but it's a decent combination if they were just running into this area without a tank. Over here. Need to wait for the spawn? Chances are they're going to run it back. Uh, it's a risky to do it up there by that little uh, RV. However, I have seen it done very nicely if spawns are blocked properly. We shall see them. Nick going up for the spawn now. There it is. Where are they going to do it? Looks like they are indeed holding up that area. And they are not blocking spawns very well. It's going to be tricky to get a spawn in here with them running around like this. Uh, it's funny that it's more difficult to attack disorganized teams than it is a team that knows exactly where they're sitting. Let's see if we can get a spawn behind this trailer though. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a spawn. My spitter is fragile compared to that charger, so far. There we go, just died right there. If I take a few bullets, that charger will survive, but I will not. Charger does land a little bit with the hunter going down on somebody over here, and the separation, very nice. Tank able to defend that hunter beautifully. Able to get quite a few hits and dings of damage from that hunter. Tank is, is lit, but it's not going to make too huge of a difference. Coach running recklessly into that tank. Tank does miss the swing, though. Very nice. Tank is now down, though. <laughs> They kind of chest bumped midair and it killed the tank. That was hilarious. Uh, no reason to attack right here. Need to wait for the inside or the stairway. I'm not going to have anybody else in for those, though. Might have to wait until after the drop. It really depends what toaster gets here. No, going to have to wait until after the drop. Trying for some separation damage there. Not going to be quite enough to downer. 
She is going to be pilled now. Might be able to boom from below. Uh, with nobody else up, I was questioning whether or not I should. Looks like it's probably best that I waited. Might be able to get this initial room in the house. Hoping for a charger at some point here. There's the natural going to sp spawn and boom on that. Able to only get one of them. And the separation spit going down in the doorway there. There is no hunter in here though. Well, there was, but he did get meleeed. Not quite able to capitalize on that separation and boom right there. It's alright though. Probably for the better, we do have a smoker for the drop. If we so choose to attack as a separation right here, which is probably... Uh, it, it could work. However, I feel like attacking at the, uh, the next hole is probably a better option. Treating it like a... Uh, like a no mercy hole, pretty much, if that makes sense. Sounds kind of dirty, actually. Hmm. Treating it like a uh, like you would no mercy, where when they come up, you try and cap them as they come up and hold them in that that crawl as long as you can. This here, this ladder. We do have a spitter. We could have done the tunnel charge. Uh, it's a fragile attack if they see it coming, and seeing as they used it on us, chances are they're going to send one person ahead first to bait it. The only alarmed car in here looks to be the middle one. Uh, which kind of sucks, because our two outside cars were alarmed, and they only get the middle car alarmed. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. As I said there, they did send one person forward to bait that charge, which is not there. Just now dropping. Nick, way late to drop. Way, way late. That could have been ugly had we set up for that. There's the bait coming up for the tunnel. Not going to be anything there, though. They're all free to run up now. I don't know why they're taking so long to do it. You gotta be cautious in that tunnel, even if even if it's not an attack, I mean you still have to bait it, obviously. Because you don't know where the infected are. Should be able to take advantage of this rather nicely though. Boomers are a tricky subject here. I find it best to just sit back with the boomer and wait for the caps to go then boom him as opposed to using it as a delay. He could actually boom him right there. However, that's probably beneficial to the other team. Looks like they're all going to try and come up at once. There it is right there. Able to hopefully defend the smoker. There we go. A little bit of residual horde in there did slow down the coach from clearing that smoker and the spit going down perfectly on that smoker. Tons of horde. He is taking all kinds of damage. Ellis just taking a beating right there. Absolutely destroyed his health. They were all green coming into that. Very, very nice. The middle car is the one alarmed, not the outside ones. There they are, those three cars right there that they just walked past so easily. Doesn't look like the end car is alarmed. That's alright though. I sue Spitter and Hunter may be the only choice for doing some damage here. <clears throat> this can be a tricky spitter area if you can land it correctly and get enough dings of damage down there. Able to do a little bit more damage than maybe we should have, but this again is a tricker, tricky area to attack and downing two of them there with that spitter. Very nice. Able to get a boom on three of them as well, but they're not going to catch much horde. Seeing as the area that they did just go through is the horde heavy area as opposed to the roof. Two medkits and two pills or shots in that ambulance means they're going to be decent health coming into the graveyard. And again, it is difficult to attack in the graveyard. However, if you can get a good attack off or with a good boom, you can do quite a bit of damage. We are on a good combination for this drop. If we can get the boom off as they drop, should be able to push them around quite a bit with the charger and the smoker to pull back or defend depending on the situation. Boomer may, came, may come from above, which would probably be the preferred scenario. There comes Nick. I think he just missed his jump like a boss. Gonna spawn the smoker. Gonna miss my first smoke. Hopefully the charger can get in underneath that. Boomer should be coming from above now. There's a nice charge. Just missing Rochelle. Almost able to stop him up. Boomer coming in very last there. 
Not a bad thing, not a bad thing at all, seeing as how little map is left, it's going to slow him down for that much longer. Uh, the Charger did get quite a few hits off on Coach there, which makes him slow. <clears throat> Looks like they are going to come into some health in there, though. Going to be able to speed Coach up just a little bit. Only a couple of attacks left. Should be able to do a lot of damage, seeing as one is slow. Gonna mean that they can't ex can't exactly uh, rush this area. Need to get this boom off here and hopefully go for a separation. Being dual support though, it is difficult to do, especially with only a smoker. Boomer there, oh, just barely able to catch the edge of Coach's model, or Nick's model rather. Gonna try and spit that pounce. Very nice defense with the smoker right there. Very very nice. Oh, not even coming back to save her. They must be blinded. I can't exactly tell. Yeah, it looks like they were preoccupied with the horde in front. Rochelle not exactly willing to run past that spit. A good call. You never know how far out those spit puddles extend, especially death puddles. They can be very tricky. And on that low of health, you have to be cautious. Getting a charger in. We'll see what the other infected is for this end of the end of the graveyard here. Jockey charger may be good. Depends on what happens right here. Very nice charge on the two low people, pushing her all the way back and downing her with the stop. Uh, spawning a boomer in here is going to be extremely tricky. There's not going to be a lot of spawn options. Not going to be a lot of spawn options. Able to get it off and only two of them hit. But I did get the down guy and that's what's important. Not a large horde, but enough to slow them up. Hopefully to give us the opportunity to attack again before they make it out of this graveyard here. They are running extremely slow here, Rochelle. <laughs> Doing the typical double get up. That's so obnoxious, I hate that. Very, very slow. Very low health on them. One more good attack and they are done. Maybe even able to spit for the delay. Looks like that's what's going to happen right here. Spitting for the delay. Slowing him down that much. Coach is now down to one health. Even a slap. Here's a charger. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get slapped, so it's such a small spawning area. Hopefully. Able to push him all the way back. Go, 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 go. Yes, perfectly done. All the way back. Jockey should be able to get... Yeah, Jockey does get a scratch in there. Going to down a guy up front. Primo situation for us. Very, very bad situation for them. If a boom goes off on either of those two down people, it is going to be ugly. Being as slow as they are, it is difficult to close that much ground quickly. Rochelle being the only green one should be back here as well. There goes a smoker delaying the get up, allowing the boomer to go up here. Boomer does only hit the down guy. That may be preferable to hitting all of them, though. Ellis in here getting some health like a boss. Gonna look, hopefully, for a down right here. If I don't get picked, they are on AKs, so it may be difficult to land anything. There, Nick goes down to the spit while he's watching me. Very nice. Spitter gonna stop him up for that much longer and get a little bit of damage build in the process. Now they're gonna be able to get in. Hopefully, I guess. Ellis did bring out a health pack with him. There's a charger. Maybe a little extra damage. It is going to hit Coach in the safe room for 1 or 10 damage, rather, for the stop. A very nice run by them at the end there. They held it together when they should have died. Very good play, but I would say that probably gives us damage. I'd like to see this. It actually is, yeah. <laughs> We did beat him up quite a bit there, and a quite a bit of damage build opportunities that we took uh, advantage of. But still one round left, we'll see how they, or still two rounds rather, we'll see how they play. Second to last map now, my favorite map in the series. The uh, map that has the least amount of health on it, I would say too. Very fun map. See how we go through it here, probably going to catch an early tank I imagine. That's just a guess, seeing as how the tanks have been coming in here. Looking for that early boom. Not going to happen. They are going to wait for this doorway here, which has become pretty much the standard for attacking on this initial area. Very easy attack to thwart if you do it correctly. I'm going to put as much fire through that doorway as I can. Spit does go down there. Not in a good spot for that. Oh, we're going to take so much damage from that spit that they shouldn't have taken. Charger is still up along with the jockey in there. Smoker in the back, able to clear the jockey. Smoker not going to be an issue as he did just waste his tongue. No charger right there going to attack. Probably going to run back for the despawn. Very bad when you have to save two of your infected out of an attack because you don't see anything to use. 
gonna give us this first area pretty easily. You never want to drop on the back side of that van, guys. Always drop on the front side. Just so we know. There's the tank. I figured as much. Uh, a decent area to attack in with the tank. Uh, it's uh, not the worst, not the best. You might not want to be inside for it, though. I pondered what, uh, what Saturn was saying about this, and I agree with him wholeheartedly. If you wait out here for the tank to come in and simply attack the tank out here and only go inside if he brings a car, you can do quite a bit of damage to the tank, as this is a desirable area to be in with a limited number of infected spawns. There's the charge up. Looks like in the room. Domino needs to not be standing in that doorway. He actually should just be out here with us trying to spawn block. Tank is in from the window. Domino needs to get out of that doorway. Don't want to run back in the room. Very bad idea. Going to open yourself up for attacks. So it's going to push us inside regardless. Able to survive a few tank swings. Tank does push forward, oddly enough, to run away, which is going to give us position here in this room. No infected up, maybe? I'm not sure why that uh, it didn't go better for the tank, as it was a very bad scenario for us, and he had to have infected support up. There's a tank now. I'm looking for this boomer. I'm worried we're going to get boomed here. There comes a jock in there, able to melee that and take care of it. Charger as well, but we are up on these tables. I am going to catch a rock, but that is well worth it for clearing that entire attack as it came in. We should be able to pressure the tank in the pool room now. The pool room is a good area to attack a tank in. If you can get to it, that is. Tank does go down right there. Not a good scenario for that tank as we did destroy his health. Even with that unfortunate little run back that we had. Putting out a pipe in this area, going to clear out a vast majority of that horde. There is quite a bit of horde down there. Going to be free to move forward, probably all the way to the ammo room. Assuming you don't take any crazy uh, spit charge attacks on these stairs, which I have seen happen, I have seen work. There's a jockey, perhaps a waste. Uh, yeah, nothing else with him. Oh, a hunter maybe. Looking for the dual cap, I don't know. <laughs> Punched him after he landed on uh, Saturn there. Kind of hilarious. Spitter gonna try and spit for delay, but it's not gonna work. Well, it will work, I guess, for the doorway. But it's not gonna do a lot with two of their infected just going down. We're gonna be able to start this immediately. Smoker is up in the back, gonna get smoked back. Almost dropping off that edge, that would have been ugly. Somebody should be going for the start now. It is advantageous to start this as soon as you run out here. If you take an attack in there or if you clear at least one or two of them, you want to rush this and start it as quickly as you can because of the massive separation distance that you take from where you start it to where you want to do it at. Nothing I'm going to attack us. This roof is a good spot to hold out, assuming you can take care of any kind of charger play. That is the key thing, is the charger smoker play. Can almost go now. Charger is up right there. As soon as we kill this charger, not quite going to happen quickly enough. We would have been able to run had everybody been able to stay on the roof, but one did get charged down, unfortunately. It means we're going to have to wait. Probably should be healing. Hard to say. Lots of horde dropping, dropping over that fence there. Hunts are coming down and somehow pushing me off that edge. I must have jumped up on that railing. Spit going down right here by me. Oh, buddy. Still fast, though. Which means I'm going to be able to get through this quickly, I hope. Everybody else over there is very low health. They need to heal and use those med kits while I'm running over there. Which they are doing. All the way across, nothing up to stop us. Need to get out of that room. It is a death trap with all that horde that can come in there. Looking for pills. We need a little bit of more health to get us through this area. Not quite going to happen, though. There are going to be a couple sets in this next room, though. Which we should take an attack in here, too. There it comes in from the back. Not quite able to melee that jockey smoker as well from the same doorway. And Charger up front missing his charge with the boomer in late. I have to wonder if that was a delay tactic or if they just couldn't get a spawn with that boomer. If Pipe Bomb does go out, we're going to be able to run this next spot rather quickly. It is a short distance to the safe room now, a short stint. If we can get past this drop. Hopefully, hopefully. 
Yep, gonna tag the ammo and get out of that area. Cannot linger in that spot. Firing the run behind us, gonna run through the spit. We are all high enough health to run through it. That's a very bad spot to be in. Gonna take the attack right here. Hunter Jockey in from the back and Smoker up front. Spitter was the fourth there, so that was not a good combination, and it was the best they could probably have done on that setup. Nothing gonna stop us now. All the way in. Bam, as easy as that. Their tank did melt rather quickly. So, uh, mm, hopefully our tank can uh, get a little better position on them than what theirs did to us. We'll have to see, though. It can be rather dangerous to do it outside with those cars. If somebody gets a good hit on a car, it may end up ruining your day. This initial attack, of course, being that we are on Charger Spitter, probably going to wait for the doorway. It can be done in the... Uh, in the original opening here, next to the fountain, if it's done properly, it is a hard attack to coordinate though, and it kind of relies on people just going off of what they can. I'm not sure if we tried that this game or not. I don't really remember. Here they are coming out now. Eyes up, looking for that boomer, looking for the drop with the boomer on him. Not just gonna, not gonna happen though. Obviously, we are on a spitter. Going for the opportunity to attack right there. Spit going down perfectly in this little hallway here. Very nice, able to stumble him with the jockey as well gonna do loads of damage initially that is what I'm talking about for the improv attacks you just have to guess it and that is where you're gonna take is that and then that is where you're gonna do your damage in that area not so much setting up on the doorway because everybody expects that smoker is still in the back there are two of them back they're gonna be able to clear up pretty easily free to run all the way past the drop now bringing it into the realm of tank spawns they need to be cautious they'll probably clear all their horde as they move forward As they are looking for a tank spawn here. Gonna waste the spitter. Need this boomer and a tri cap for this area and this tank. There's the tank spawn. It is giving it to the jockey, which is good. A good uh, qua or a good tri boom there. Need to get the uh, tank in there and get some cars. Probably should have charged him back towards the cars. That's okay. Tank needs to be going for cars. These. Pushed him all the way back. Oh, we're gonna take so much health. Would have been much better probably to come from the roof there. Gonna force him inside though. Which is much better than fighting in this open area here. Might be able to land that car. Oh, not quite. Forcing him inside. Gonna give us much better position to attack on. Maybe gonna get a separation here. There it is. Able to stop up this guy. Trying to look for that boom to go. Jockey able to get on him. Maybe for a down. Hopefully trying to defend as much as I can, <laughs> trying to body defend as best I can. Boomer did get popped right there, did land on one of them though. Tank is in, he is only at about a third health. With this being an inside room and they are on shotguns, that health can melt away rapidly. Doing a little bit of damage build there. Keeping this guy down from that much longer. I am very low with health on this smoker, not going to be able to get anything I imagine. Ooh, we'll see how well this... Rochelle can shoot here. Tank is going to be coming in from outside. Under my distraction, that may be good. Yeah, able to get a good hit there and back out before he takes too much damage, down to about an eighth health. Not going to be very useful for much longer. Running right into that fire, not going to make any difference, though. Probably keeping that guy down for just another little bit of time. Strong attacks there. We did down one and take quite a bit of health off the rest of them. Much better than their tank did with the good position that we had. Just had a good set go off right there. Sitting on Charger Spitter for the drop. Uh, you can utilize this right here to stuff them in this little uh, small doorway being the limited area to move. But, uh, I don't know. It depends how well you get cleared and if the spit lands immediately. There's a trick to spitting chargers, by the way. If you hit the person that they have charged, you get about three extra dings worth of damage and the spit spreads immediately. Something to be aware of. Looking perhaps for a boom here in the middle, not quite feeling it. Gonna just wait for everybody else to be in. Not worth attacking with two for that much time. Better off just waiting for the drop. Waiting for that, uh, that good positioning, as I've been saying, I guess. 
Sitting on Smoker Jockey. Uh, if we had a Charger here, it could be a devastating attack. It still can be, but it's not quite as easy to pull off with a Smoker Jockey, the separation that is. It's much easier to charge one down and smoke one back, but we will see how we do it. Smoker is Tarzaning it in that tree. The only problem with that is if they see him, they will be able to shoot. There we go, they saw him right there. Completely wasted now. Not going to be able to use that area. Looking for this boom when they come out. I believe this team does run to the left, as opposed to dropping off the edge to the right there. Preference. It can throw off a team that's not ready for it, such as right here. But it's also very hazardous. Looking for this boom. <coughs> Hoping to hit two of them there, but it's not going to happen. Do get a hunter on the guy in the back, but there are still two up here. Not going to be huge issue. Smoker does go off on the guy on the bottom for a little bit of separation damage. Again, not a whole lot. Jockey not quite able to pull the separation. Oh, he does pull the separation on Coach, but you can shoot through that floor. Not quite able to get him all the way back to that room in order to get the down and separation kill. They did start the event there. Very good idea once they clear all of us to start it. Now with the charger in, there are a few options on attacking in this area. You can attack twice and hope that you get a good combo the second time, or you can save your good sets from the first attack and do it a good attack when they try and cross. It is all preference. One way can work where the other one doesn't, and vice versa. If we had a spitter, we could do a nice damage build right here on that little hallway. If we could get a spit into it. Looks like I'm going to go for it anyway. Able to hit one of them and Hunter coming in for defense. Doing a little extra damage. They are going to run the uh, the drop now. That's what they're waiting for. Uh, the uh, drop, the separation, the, the little clown car thing with the planks on top of it. Nick almost missing there. Almost falling off. All the way past that made that event look easy. Going to be before the outside of this next uh, roadway here before we get our attack in. Depending on what Domino gets, looks like a charger, we should be able to land a good damage attack in this area. It's going to be tricky to do on green survivors, but it can be done. No, it looks like we're going to wait for the hallway. Simply pushing ahead too fast. Hopefully we can get something here. Such a tricky spot. With all the different ways they can go. Able to get a good charge. Oh, but the spitter did get melted before he got the spit off. Unfortunate scenario, as good of a charge as that was. However, we still did get a little bit of damage with that jockey and hunter, along with the charger. They are all still... well, no, one is not green. There we go, he took a shot. Which means, should be able to run through this next area pretty quickly. We've got nothing up to stop him in this hallway, which is the preferred area to attack in. Which means our last attack is either going to be around the truck, or I guess in this game, I think we do something tricky in the safe room like bosses. Yes, we do. Sitting on dual support right here, it is... Your options are limited. Missing my spawn twice there. There we go. You gotta spawn before you run in the safe room, because it's restricted. This safe room does have this little area up here, which you can uh, be a little bitch in, which is kind of funny, but... You know, you gotta have fun in this game, right? That's what it's all about. Smoker's burning! <laughs> Not gonna be much use up here, huh? It's kind of funny, actually. I believe you can shoot through this floor. Um, something you need to watch out for. Getting a couple punches off. Hopefully the spitter can drop a spit down there. There they go, shoot through the floor. There's no trick to avoiding fire here. They're just going to spam the floor as much as they can. <laughs> Not quite able to kill me. Probably going to send somebody up and put somebody at the bottom of the hole to shoot me, I imagine. There we go. Able to get one more scratch for that comedy damage right there. <laughs> we should get the damage on this. I don't think that actually made a difference in the damage. No, it didn't at all. So all in good fun. It's good fun, right? Makes it into a 100-point game, which, especially with the crescendo event that this map has... It's not really going to be a huge, insurmountable gap that you can't win because of. With so many death charges and so many opportunities to kill somebody early on in this map, 
it is anybody's game still which is what I love about this map it is a great crescendo event or I guess crescendo map is what I would call it very very fun there is no trick to running this map you have to be very tight with your group and you have to be clearing instantly there can be no delay as soon as you hear something spawn you have to spin and kill it especially those smoker chargers it's very difficult to melt a charger unless everybody headshots him everybody is putting bullets in that charger's head it's gonna die rapidly even with somebody charged it's something that I don't see a lot of pubs doing it's if, if somebody's charged you can still trace that charger with your gun and kill it before the charge lands looking to run left side here probably gonna light that smoker spot there we go my only problem that I have with that is I did not light the top of the truck right there which means that the smoker can drop onto the top of the truck which I think is what goes on right here and I think I'm ready for that because I saw that I didn't light it right there there's the smoker getting headshots on him before he can get a pull on me very nice here the charger spawn he drops in the middle of us a curious thing there and there's the jockey onto the glitch spot right here on the edge and into the water I go there's nothing more obnoxious than melting an attack like that and then dying to something stupid like a jockey pulling you off in the middle of your group moving you three feet to the side and dropping you off the edge that's okay though I think that we should be able to kill this team before they make it across the bridge it makes the game interesting right boomer does go off there in the back getting all three of them they are running like mad running for broke pipe bomb in the back gonna stop up a lot of the horde able to wipe that hunter before he even causes any trouble smoke or boomer is still chasing probably not gonna be able to get anything else with that you can run back and despawn now on this map which is probably what he should be doing that boom should wear here shortly there it goes pushing all the way up should be a tank spawn up here as we all know coming into it right here it's necessary for for them to kill this tank you can't run it on three people it's extremely risky and really people don't people think this tank is really hard but I think they're giving way too much credit to this area it is very very easy to kill a tank in here I know there's cars everywhere but there's too many cars there's too many obstacles to hit cars around if you're stupid you're gonna get hit by a car but if you play it smart you can survive this tank rather easily even with three people as we're probably gonna see right here I'm pretty sure they make it all the way through this able to light the tank right there a beautiful Molotov that hit the tank in the face that was very nice boomer is on the side they're not gonna get anyone able to pick him off keep in mind I am helping my team with scouting a little bit that tank is just bossing those cars around you can't do that when you are lit he's not gonna get anything by punching cars around in a, in a fury right there gonna try and chase in this area you can't really run away from a tank and shoot it at the same time you have to be watching where you're going tank there again going for cars but like I said smart teammates they are making the right decisions staying out of the area where the tank can hit ooh just barely missing that swing on Rochelle that was almost ugly tank did go down right there though there is a smoker in the back might cause some issues charger up front is he gonna be able to do anything along with that jockey not quite that was a really bad charge um, yeah it's almost over now they're gonna be able to push past these uh, these death spots here rather quickly probably before the next spawn comes up the charger probably should have just waited for up here um, a little known charge spot on top of this bus pushing them backwards underneath that bridge section there very very underutilized very effective charger spot right there running it all the way need to stay together can't leave a guy behind you do have pipes on that Humvee I recommend every time you run by that Humvee, Humvee grab a pipe and chuck it it will cut all of the horde chasing you and make it ten times easier to make it all the way charger is up front looking for that charge off the edge for the down but it's just not gonna happen charger still up looking for a little bit of damage maybe with some scratches but it's just not gonna happen all the way to the chopper should be looking at that second tank in here pretty quickly not gonna be a huge issue on the second tank though don't know where it was easy as that the game is not over with me dying early on in this map it means that they all basically just have to make it past the tank and they're just set to go but it's hard to say how it, how it will play out 
Like I said, so many, so many, so many opportunities to kill somebody on this map. You know, you almost never see anybody run the right side of this initial area anymore. I wonder why, I wonder why that is. I should start running on the right. It's not exactly a worse side. It's just never used. It's kind of weird. You do have to make that little awkward crossover in the middle, which may be a little bit dangerous, but... Hell, I think it's worth trying. Start running the right side of this area, guys. We'll see how they come into this. Uh, depending on how their will is, we may have already broken this team. And they may just not be wanting to even try to finish this map. It is a very daunting task to try and get through this map without taking a death charge. It is very, very stressful. Especially if you're trying to win a game. Gonna look for this death pull. Or not death pull, this in cap pull, I guess you would call it. Off the edge, of course. It's such an overused pull that people just kind of expect it to happen. So you have to be very tricky about how you do it. Which means spawning and pulling immediately. You have to be where you're going to pull from and you have to know who you're going to pull right away. It's a difficult thing to do. It's easily avoided by the survivors, but it does sometimes work. Especially if everything goes at once. Uh, with the combination we're sitting on, it is an extremely good combination for this first hole. It is probably as good as it gets. There is almost nothing better that could be happening right here. With everything being able to move somebody around and a boomer, all of it very, very useful. Watching how they come into this area, studying how they come into this area, looking for their weakness, looking for somebody who's going to separate. There goes a boom off in the middle on the two survivors in the middle, which means this guy is by himself without any help. Going to drop him off the edge. Keeping the smoker alive as well, very important. Charger able to get a few scratches and a death charge, beautifully done at a close range. That almost never happens and is was expertly executed. The scratch and charge off the edge. Still have my smoker up, going to be able to hopefully pull his shell off the edge. Was there a zombie in the way maybe? Looks like Jockey's trying for some trickery. Not quite going to happen. With that death charge in the beginning, our chances of winning have skyrocketed. A very, very strong charge right there. I'm not sure if they can even win it anymore, actually. Being as out of, that is where I died too, and we were 100 points ahead. So chances are this game is already over. But they are going for broke. Going to play it all the way out. I love it. Wish every team did it. Getting another charger here. I see how they're running. And I pretty much assume that they're not going to bait this next area. So I base my attack off that, right there. Assuming they're not going to bait it. It's something that you have to do on green survivors. You have to just commit to an attack and try and guess what they're going to do to the best of your ability. Able to get that second kill, meaning that this game is now unwinnable and it, a, uh, a dual cap is a very high possibility. Especially before they come into this tank and we lose a spawn to it. Smoker in the back, Hunter in the front. If the smoker can land something, which it should happen right here, there's the smoke and the hunter. Very strong attack right there. A nice pounce there, especially at that distance through the cars. A very fun game. A very good team to play with, too. They did just about everything right. Just a few circumstances played to our favor. Got a few more good attacks in. So a good, a good inaugural game to start off my season of casting. I hope you like it. I hoped you like it. Hmm. I hope you liked it. How about that?